What's up everyone? This is July 4th week and this is the Analog Drift. Now first little bit of news is that Sega is going to be releasing an updated version of Knights. Knights, the old Saturn game, is going to be back in an HD. Now I've never actually played this game before but it was pretty beloved. Frankly, I'm kind of sad to see that they're rehashing their old games and not doing something new and interesting, but the Sega of nowadays isn't the Sega it was 15 or 20 years ago, and at some point we all have to just accept that. There will never be a good Sonic the Hedgehog video game, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, and then Activision has recently changed the release date of Transformers. It's going to be released a week early on August 21st. So, I'll be picking that up after I saw what I saw on the internets, a new trailer that showcases the epically huge Autobot Metroplex. It looks pretty cool, so I'm going to be picking that up. Then, uh, I guess the FCC had some documents leak out that are showing a newer, slimmer version of the PlayStation 3. So maybe that means that we're going to hear something around Gamescom since that's coming up, and maybe they'll have some sort of price drop, say like $199 or 149 for this new version of PlayStation. Then uh, Ubisoft seems to be on a huge advertising blitz for Assassin's Creed 3. They recently released a, a live action trailer that looks pretty amazing. So be sure to go on Ubisoft's channel and check that out. Or else I'll put the link below, I don't know. And then uh, Epic Mealtime, they also teamed up with Ubisoft. And they did kind of like an Assassin's Creed slash American Revolution video. Um, where they, they dressed up like characters from Assassin's Creed and, and uh, they made an American flag out of bison meat, which looked pretty tasty to me. Bison meat covered in bacon and bacon mashed potatoes. Good stuff. Good stuff for meat lovers like me. But anyhow, next little bit of news is that Sony bought the online streaming service Gaikai for $380 million. Now what Gaikai is, for people who don't know, is they stream video games to uh, lower end devices like uh, crappy computers like the one that I have here, or tablets, or, or eventually they're going to do TVs, but what it is is they, uh, they do all the processing of the, the high end computer game in a server room somewhere out in outer space or wherever, and then they stream that content to your device, so you're not actually doing all the work on your end, your broadband connection is, and their servers are back at the mothership. But what this is good for is that you can have a device that you don't have to buy a $500 graphics card every two years to keep playing decent games on the PC, you just need that strong broadband connection. But what I'm wondering is what does this mean to PlayStation? Now. Are they going to take currently popular PlayStation exclusives like Journey and put them on this new service? I would imagine so. Are they going to continue to have games like Microsoft's Alan Wake? I would imagine probably not. Um, are they going to put this on the PlayStation 3 as an app or something like that? I would hope so. I think this could be a very cool thing. You know, they could they could do it sort of like on live where you can jump in, see your friends play, you can give them kudos or join in or that kind of thing. That would be really cool if they could improve the PlayStation online service because we know it needs some improving. But anyhow, what I'd really like to see is them uh, you know, put that as an app on the PlayStation. They could have you do your streaming games, you know, you buy a whole game, you stream it, or you do a game rental without having to do these huge 32 gigabyte downloads. Those things suck, we all know it. Uh, I think this service could really improve that functionality. But anyhow, what would you like Sony to do with their online streaming service, Gaikai? Would you like them to leave it alone? Would you like them to stream games to your television? Would you like them to stream games to your PlayStation 3? Or would you like them to just stick it? Leave a comment below and let me know. And uh, also be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, tune in next week.
Thanks for watching.